Research Approach Research approach can be best described as a general plan and procedure for conducting your research study. So how you approach your research plan or your study that can be divided into three categories deductive approach, inductive approach and abductive approach. Now the relevance of hypothesis. Hypothesis as we know is um, is a logical supposition or a or a reasonable guess which you can make from your you know educated prediction about the nature of the relationship between two or more variables that we expect to happen in our study we cannot say that this is what it is it has to be tested still but it's just a general guess we can make even before the proper research has started so the relevance of hypothesis to the study is the main distinction point between deductive and inductive approaches the deductive approach it it will test the validity of assumption we have made or the hypothesis as we were saying just now whereas the inductive approach it will contribute to the emergence of new theories and generalizations while abductive research uh, it will start with some very surprising fact or puzzle and the research process is just devoted to that explanation of what that surprising fact or puzzle is so let's understand deductive approach a little bit more so in research studies which uh, use the deductive approach the researcher what they do is they will formulate a set of hypotheses hypothesis as we said is the educated guess a prediction which is which is made before the start of the research and that has to be tested to confirm whether it is what you have predicted was right or wrong so that is that is what the researcher formulates a set of hypotheses at the start of research then the relevant research methods are chosen whatever the research methods uh, seems applicable for that research study they will choose that and then apply those methods to test the hypothesis to prove them right or wrong so here in this flow chart as it can be seen first the theory then a hypothesis then the observation or the test is done and the final conclusion based on whether it has whether it it can be confirmed or rejected based on what the results are so generally studies using the deductive approach they will follow this stages first deducing hypothesis from the theory formulating the hypothesis in operational terms and proposing relationships between two specific variables then third testing the hypothesis with the with the application of whatever rel relevant uh, methods seem to be applicable these are quantitative methods such as usually you know regression and correlation analysis mean mode median those those uh, methods and then next is examining the outcome of the test we have to know what after all these stages what is the outcome of the test and then confirming or rejecting the theory and then the last step is then you can modify the theory based on your results uh, in of of course modifying the theory when the hypothesis is not confirmed so this is what the stages look like now coming to inductive approach or inductive reasoning this begins with sort of a detailed observation of the world and you move towards more abstract generalizations and ideas when following an inductive approach uh, and you begin with a topic the researcher will tend to develop some very empirical generalizations and identify the very basic and the preliminary relationships as he progress as he or she progress through the research at this stage actually no hypothesis can be developed because it is such a new topic such a you know it's just at the start of beginning to observe and know 
know this topic from the very start and that's why no hypothesis can be found at the initial stages of the research and the researcher is just not sure about the type and nature of the research findings until the whole study is completed so as you can see here the figure in this flow chart the inductive reasoning is often referred to as the bottom up approach to knowing in which the researcher will use the observation to build an abstraction or to describe a picture of the phenomenon that is being studied also in inductive approach a lot of qualitative methods for data collection and data analysis is used whereas as in deductive approach as i was discussing just now that it is related with quantitative methods more in abductive approach the research process starts with surprising facts or puzzles and the research process is devoted to that explanation now the surprising facts or puzzles as we say here it may emerge when a researcher will encounter um with a phenomenon that that is not a, that is not possible to be explained by the existing range of theories whatever theories there are available it is not possible to explain with those so when following an abductive approach the researcher will seek to choose the best the best explanation among the many options which are being which are available in order to explain those surprising facts or puzzles identified at the start of the research process so in the course of explaining the surprising facts or puzzles the researcher can uh, combine both the numerical the cognitive reasoning both in both of these reasonings can be used to explain those surprising facts or puzzles